Hi Gemini, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do a reading for August. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're just going to see what comes up. Now keep in mind that this may resonate the day you watch it or it may resonate later in the month. I have to say that because a lot of people don't realize it. They watch it, it doesn't resonate that day and they're like, oh that doesn't resonate with me. Well we did a reading the other day, a daily vibe about people that doesn't apply to me. <laughs> really? I'm not saying that that is you per 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 specifically, but, you know, and I don't think it really is, but that came that just came out of my mouth. Anyway, this reading is from my guides. The cards are just a cue card. They're just cue cards for me. Whatever comes out, comes out. All right. So this is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of August. Where are we going to start? We are going to start right here. Dear God, angels, spirits, and universe, what do we have for Gemini? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus for the month of August. What can they expect? Ooh, <laughs> this is the Wheel of Fortune. Flow, go with the flow, go with this change. So there is a fated change, of course, in which you are being called to just go with it. Go with it. Don't fight it. This is meant to be. Whatever is happening is meant to be. Now, we all know that the Wheel of Fortune is a chapter that is coming to an end. And a new one is beginning. So you are just being called to just allow it. Don't fight it. Go with it. Um, destined change. Gemini. Let's get one of these. Good luck. This is something good. This is very fortunate. Whatever is happening, it's going to work out in your favor. Okay? This is a lucky break of some sort. What we well, we, don't, we got three of them. We're going to engagement, free yourself, and codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. They are. Could be food. Could be alcohol. Could be drugs. Could be an obsession to something that is very unhealthy to you. Could be a person. Free yourself. It's time to take back control of your, your life. It's time to take back control of whatever it is that you are codependent on. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. So I feel as though you are about to experience a change and your love life is about to be, <laughs> it's about to change directions in a good way, okay? But you're going to have to free yourself of something that is unhealthy, okay? So that's the change. It's letting go of something that is unhealthy because you're about to, you know, ascend to a higher level of commitment. And this is very, 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 very fortunate. It is fortunate. Um, let's get one of these. Gemini, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. What do we have for the month of August? Change. Change is happening. Destiny. You may be meeting somebody unexpectedly. If you are in a commitment... Right now, it may be, you know, going to the next level. But there's something that is not healthy that needs to be, that you need to break free from first. Okay, that's a pretty clear message. What do we got for Gemini? Oh, there it is. <laughs> oh, see where it landed? It landed right like that on the other deck. Ten of spring. Ask for help from others. All work and no play. Being weighed down by too many responsibilities. Maybe that's what you need to let go of. This is the ten of wands. You're overwhelmed. You're working too hard. Something needs to be let go of so that you can be more at ease. So that you can get what you deserve. So that you can be happy. You're, over, you're doing too much, Gemini. You got too much going on right here, right now. 
okay? Ten of Wands. Ask for help from others. All work and no play. Come on now. Maybe it's time to be more playful. Maybe you need to be more playful. Open yourself up a little bit. That's some, something. You need to let go of some responsibilities. Something that's weighing you down. It's affecting your relationship. Maybe it has to do with money. You know, you, you, it's all about money. No, well, if you want to make it like it's all about money, then your relationship will suffer. So what do we got for Gemini, dear God, angels, spirits, and universe for the month of August? Something needs to be let go of because we got something fortunate coming in. You, you have a fortunate opportunity for love. You gotta make time for it though. The devil, materialistic, greed, bound, bound by society, what everybody thinks. Chained, chained to your job, chained to something that is unhealthy, toxic. There is absolutely a codependency here. Absolutely, 100%. There's something that is unhealthy. It could be an addiction, an obsession. You are There's something that you need to sever ties with that is affecting your love life. It's not healthy. Ooh, told you it was affecting your love life. We got the two of cups here. But this, there is love. There is love. Intimacy. Whoever this person is. <laughs> it's a mutual. It's a mutual feeling. There's, there's a mutual connection. There's probably a deep connection. Six of Pentacles. Four of Wands. Oh my God. There, there is a commitment. There's a commitment here that is going up to the next level. And this is something that you asked for. Okay? Somebody is going to be giving something to you. You may be even getting proposed to, Gemini. <laughs> I'm just saying. I mean, the Two of Cups. This, this is somebody receiving. This is somebody who is, like I said, it's mutual. It's mutual. This is equal give and take. There's a mutual attraction. There's a mutual, you know, give and take. This could lead to marriage. It could lead to happiness. This is, this is commitment. Okay? But there's something unhealthy here. This could be, well, there's a strong attraction. You, there's desires. There's, there's tempted. There's, there's a sexual attraction as well. So I feel as though this is a month of, you know, <laughs> destined change, of course. I think that you are somebody, if you are single, if you are single, you are going to meet somebody that really strikes your fancy. And that is no joke. But you may have to let go of some of your previous demands to engage with this new partner okay if you are in a re coupled relationship now you need to give more time to your partner okay you know <laughs> prince of cups reverse the lovers i can't make this shit up this is unexpected this is unexpected you are about to receive a gift from above this is a gift of love this is a gift a gift of love, okay? Gemini. This is this is absolutely destiny. It's meant to be. It's meant to be. This is this person is not your usual type, but the connection is deep. It's strong. It's there's like a an in with the devil card as well. It's a strong, deep connection. This is somebody that you may quickly they may become obsessed with you. You may become obsessed with them. You guys may become obsessed with each other. This could quickly turn into a, a, an obsession because there's a deep, 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 deep attraction, connection. This is this is like meant to be. Uh, this is you didn't expect this. I don't think you saw this coming. You you need to be more playful. <laughs> okay, you need to be more playful. 
let go of some of your work responsibilities so that you can engage with this person. That's my advice. Your challenge is being playful. This is in your challenge position. I feel like you, you know, you may be fearful. Maybe you're fearful of, of, of commitment. Maybe, you know, you really like your independence, you know, and now you've got this opportunity here and you have to, you know, figure out a way to let go of some of your demands so that you can, you know, let this love blossom. Either way, we have a change, change of course, that is absolutely meant to be. We have two people coming together or they are together now that are soulmates. I can't make that up even if I wanted to. I can't. This is equal. This is an equal opportunity. This is an equal give and take. This will not be one-sided. This is somebody, this this is your match. I'm surprised you don't have the Ace of Wands, Three of Cups. This is something to celebrate. You may meet this person, you know, for drinks. You may have met them online, social media, on a dating site. You could uh, meet this person at a celebration, at a reunion of some sort. Um, two of Swords and Happiness, the Sun. This is an opportunity for extreme, extreme happiness. But I feel as though you may be reluctant to take action with this Magician card reversed. That's somebody who's not really taking action. Um, unwilling to shed some of those responsibilities could affect your partnership. Okay, this is uh, double loyalty, the two of swords, you know. What are you going to do? You have to make a choice here. And there is a choice. There's a decision. Do you want to give time to love? Do you want to Do you want to allow it into your life? Do you want to allow it to blossom? You know, are you ready for this full-time commitment? Because it looks like it's a full-time commitment. I feel like there is there is a lack of playfulness and a lack of you know, wanting to be, you may be, well, who wants to be duped? You may be, you may be fearful. Fear, and this is a fear as well. You may be fearful of being deceived, fearful of being tricked, fearful of, you know, getting into something that is based on lust. You know, there's definitely a strong sexual attraction here. Definitely. And I feel as though it's probably going to be obsessive, you know, an obsessive kind of thing. I feel like you may you may be with you may come in contact with somebody who know who doesn't want to leave your side. You know this person doesn't want to be without you, and you may feel like this is a little bit too much. And anyhow, I feel like you're gonna have you're gonna be faced with some sort of choice decision as to whether you want to allow this to blossom. You want to allow this to grow. It's like this person just bursts right into your it's a burst I just saw that burst this person just bursts right into your world and you know you have this opportunity for for a really beautiful romance here um, I think you may meet this person you could meet this person definitely at a celebration this is a card of celebration this is a card of a gathering of some sort if you haven't met them already um the magician reverse this is this is this is a tricky situation it is a tricky situation i think it's tricky because on one hand you know you have a bunch of responsibilities that need to be taken care of but on the other hand you know you want this you really really do so my advice is to go with the flow because you are going to be presented with an opportunity that is absolutely meant to be i think this is destined it's this is fate i think there's a fated uh, coming together. There's a fated union here that um, you need to give it a chance. It, that's what it feels like to me. But there's something, like I said, about codependency. Addictions are affecting, could be money. You know, free yourself. It's time to take back control of yourself. Time to step outside. It's time to step outside of your pen. It's time to fly. It's time to stop being caged in. Open yourself up. Go have some fun, Gemini. Go have some fun. This it could lead to an engagement. I think that you're going to meet somebody at an engage, engagement of some sort. If you are single and you're out somewhere, you're at some sort of party or gathering or whatever, you're going to meet somebody spontaneously and there's going to be an instant attraction. Instant. Instant. You're going to feel it. I mean, you're going to feel it in your bones. You're going to feel it in your blood. Okay? If you are with somebody now, 
um, I feel as though your love, it's going to, it's going to step it up. It's going it, to, things are about to change for the better. Things are going to change for the better, but you still have to take back control of something. There's something that is affecting your life and you know what it is. I don't, I don't know. There's so many people watching this could be an obsession to your job it could be an obsession who knows what it is but there's something that you need to deal with um either way for all gemini's whether you are in a relationship now or you are single your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment and that is the absolute truth okay this is beautiful there's a strong sexual attraction there's a strong um emotional attraction as well there's there's a lot of of intensity here okay it's very intense this could absolutely lead to a long-term commitment extreme abundance i this is this is a very um Well, I just saw this burst. I saw the burst earlier, but now I was just looking at it and I said, this is hot. It's hot. Like, very hot. So, it is hot. Hot and steamy. Like, really steamy. So, you, this is a, probably a very sexual month as well. So, Gemini, uh, yeah. I feel like, you, but the thing is, with this Two of Swords, you need to, you need to unblock you need to unblock your heart you need to open up you need to not avoid it don't avoid this connection allow it go with the flow so yeah i don't even think i need to get any more cards you are about to your commitment status is about to change for the better. Expect the unexpected. This person, <laughs> you didn't even see it coming. You didn't even see it coming. This is not who you think it is, by the way. It's not. For some of you, for some of you it is. For some of you it is. This is a reunion of soulmates. Even if you haven't met them in this lifetime, this is a soulmate reunion. Good luck. <laughs>